a new Cheetos action figure exists, some toy reviewing, and toy photography must happen. So that's what we will be doing in this video. So we literally have a Cheetos action figure. Like, this is awesome. So I have a little bit of a theory here about this. So you know, recognizable IP sells. That's why we're always seeing sequels and remakes and stuff because it's stuff people recognize, that's what's gonna sell. Food IP sells too. Uh, my theory is, this is the first of many we're going to see. And my question for you guys is, what else do you think we'll see in action figures? Are we gonna see a Diggum the Frog? Are we gonna see Captain Crunch action figures? I don't know, but that's pretty cool and I'm totally down for it. Oh my God, I just thought of it. The Jolly Green Giant, he would be an amazing figure. That we're, we're totally getting that. That's coming next. But anyway, yeah, this is the Chester Cheetah figure from Jada Toys. And you'll recognize Jada Toys probably because they've been doing a lot of great work lately. Usually they make like little cars and stuff like that, but they've been making a lot of really cool action figures, especially like Street Fighter, stuff like that. And now they're doing this. So I'm really excited about this figure. And I got this on entertainmentearth.com. I, I pre-ordered this myself and everything. And you know what's crazy? This guy's only like 25 bucks, 20 something bucks. Like that's crazy. The packaging looks great. We got accessories, like come on. Action figure facts over here. That's so awesome. And it looks like nutrition facts. I mean, look. <laughs> Let's open this guy up. So I'm lactose intolerant and I can not eat a lot of stuff that I really love, including Cheetos, which really sucks. Cause if you look on the back, Cheeto says contains milk. I really can't eat it. It will kill my insides, but it makes me really sad. But it doesn't mean I'm not happy about this guy. And wouldn't it become it's not easy being cheesy. Like, I remember dangerously cheesy. Maybe that's still a thing? I don't know, but <laughs> this is awesome. All right, here's Chester Cheetah himself. He feels like pretty good quality for the price and what he comes with. Like, it's kind of crazy. The big shoes definitely help the standing. You know, that's, that's always a good thing. He doesn't have a whole lot of joints. He's got some hands, some wrists, elbows, some shoulders. Nothing crazy. Um, definitely the head. And he's got a, another joint in the neck and the bottom and the top. So that's cool. His tail moves. All right. And he does have a little bit of joints in the shoe itself down here. So that's actually pretty cool. I mean, he's definitely not the highest quality action figure for sure. He's got pretty cheap, like one note kind of joints. Like if you look, they're kind of scrawny, but they're not bad for what they are. They hold him up. He does have some, some waist movement this is great the fact that he has the, all that help on the bottom really helps him stand a lot he's he's well he's well done and he looks like chester freaking cheetah <laughs> it's so cool <laughs> all right let's look at and see what he's got so our friend chester has two heads he's got one that's kind of like a smiley head and then one that's a very closed head very cool he's got a little bag of cheetos that is so cool like this is like a little bag of Cheetos. Even the back's got stuff on there. Like real Cheeto stuff. Like this is this is legit. And look at this. We have literally a Cheeto. And this kind of looks like a real Cheeto. <laughs> and the whole point of this is to put it in his hand. So if I switch out one of the two hands that he has right here. Uh, Alright. That was, that was not a bad switch right there. Sometimes switching the hands is nerve wracking. And now he's holding the Cheeto. Amazing. Okay, I actually just tried to switch this hand and it was really hard to so I can put this in there. That was really tough. I'm just gonna run it under some warm water really quick to pull that out. There we go. <laughs> I did run under warm water and after that it was just fine. I'm sure that's not always the case. You know, sometimes with new figures that's a little bit weird on the first try. There's one thing I'm noticing about him. His, his face is so incredibly long. For photography, if you're gonna focus on his face, his face is so long that the rest of his body is gonna be out of focus. So if you wanna do pictures with him, you might wanna do like a profile, kinda of look of him like this and focus on him that way or you're gonna get like super out of focus if you're trying to focus on just his face because he's got a lot of depth to his body because of that long snout. Okay, it's officially time for which is the real Cheeto. We've got a few Cheetos here. Which is the real one? Help me decide. It's honestly pretty hard to tell which one's the real one. Pick which one. Is it one, two, three, four, five, or six? 
All right, three, two, one. It is number three. Great job, Jada Toys. You made a pretty accurate Cheeto. And it's also like, it's accurate, but it's a little too perfect. It's a little too perfect, come on. So yeah, this figure is awesome for a lot of reasons besides the incredible price. It's so cool, like it's a cool figure and it's a good figure, but it's so funny that it even exists. Just the concept alone is so funny. If you're a photographer, you could do so many funny photos with this. Even if you're not into like dorky things like Star Wars and comics and stuff. Everybody knows Chester Cheetah, you know? There's a lot of cool things to love about this figure and I love it. So overall, I'm giving it a huge, awesome rating for sure. And I need to take a photo with him and I'm definitely gonna do some fun Cheeto related photos. So I'm gonna get something set up right now and let's take a really awesome photo for this. All right, so my photo here is in my pantry. Yeah, check it out. So I've got Chester Cheetah in here with a bunch of random snacks and a bunch of lights. So I've got lights from behind in very unrealistic areas here, but uh, it helps with making him look pretty good in camera. And right now it's pretty cool. So you open up the cupboard and this is what you see. Chester Cheetah ready to give you some Cheetos. So my key idea with this was to make sure I have lights behind him. And for Chester to stand out, I wanted him to have some good lighting from behind to backlight him and give him some rim lighting. So uh, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna take the final shot right now. Here we go. All right, uh, so we've got something else going on here. So Chester Cheetah right now is kind of just jumping and floating above nothing, but my plan is actually to hold this Cheetos bag that's got a light in it, like this underneath, and take a picture so it looks like Chester is jumping out of the Cheeto bag. So, <laughs> and I've got Cheetos all over the ground here. So here's my test shot, and it doesn't look that bad, not gonna lie. Doesn't look that bad. I put a bunch of lights in the background too to make sure like just the whole background is full of interesting stuff. You know, I want it to still look good. Yeah, I'm using my Mezco Superman stand. Man, this thing is great. And I've got Cheetos all over the place. And so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a Cheeto and I'm going to stab it with this skewer thing. And I'm gonna take some other photos with a Cheeto over here and then a Cheeto over here. And Cheeto over here, 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 here. So it looks like there's also Cheetos flying around. I can edit out my little skewer in Photoshop and make it look perfect. So I've got Cheetos flying all over the place. And I think it's gonna look great. The lighting looks really good. And all of these lights that I'm using are made by Loom Cube. I've got the link in the description on all of this stuff if you wanna get these awesome lights with a great discount as well. Plus, I've also got video reviews on each one of these lights that I've got going up too. So if you're interested, wanna see what they're all about, I'll have them linked in the description. Let's go ahead, take the pictures, and I'll show you the final product. Here we go. So what do you think? A Chester Cheetah action figure. Is this like really awesome or is this a total hard pass? I'm assuming if you got this far in the video, you probably think it's pretty cool. If you did enjoy the video, however, please consider dropping a quick like and maybe even subscribing to the channel. That would be amazing. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.